Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm going to be talking about EyeSight, what it is, what all it controls, and how to control it. I'm also going to be doing this using a real world example. I'm gonna use my GoPro to show you guys from my point of view how the EyeSight technology is operated and how it all works. Starting in 2020, Subaru introduced EyeSight as a standard. So EyeSight are these cameras up front on the Subaru's windshield on the inside that control a suite of different safety technologies. Ones that people are primarily familiar with are the automatic braking, the adaptive cruise control, and the pre-collision warning. But here I'm gonna talk about all of that and much more in detail today. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos on your Subaru. So if you enjoy that type of content, please be sure to click the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment with any questions you guys have about your Subaru. And then also be sure to click that like button if you find value in today's video. Starting out, we are going to be discussing the adaptive cruise control that is operated with the EyeSight cameras. We are currently sitting in a 2020 Outback. However, all of the Subarus with the CVT transmission, 2020 and newer, are going to have these same features and the controls, the steering wheel is going to be the exact same across the board, no matter which 2020 or newer Subaru you are in. EyeSight has also been out for much longer than just the last few years. I believe Subaru introduced it in the Outback as early as 2013. You just had to get a higher trim level. And throughout the years, they have added it to the other models and the other trim levels to now where it is a standard. So you can get a base model or the touring trim, the lowest or the highest trim, and you'll still have the EyeSight safety technology. To operate your adaptive cruise control, you have this on off switch right here. And whenever you click that on, you'll see the car icon show up there. To set your cruise control, you get to your desired speed and you click down to set that. Now with your cruise control, you can adjust the speed once it's set up or down in five mile an hour increments with a single click up or down. Or if you wanna do single mile an hour increments, you click and hold it up or down to get to your desired speed. Because it is adaptive, what this means is your car will automatically brake if a car pulls in front of you and starts slowing down. So if you set your cruise control at 60 miles an hour down the highway and a car comes in front of you and slows down to 50 or they even come to a complete stop, your car will slow down and come to a complete stop if needed when your adaptive cruise control is set. And you can change the distance between the front of your car and the car in front of you with this up and down arrow right here. So if we increase it to four lines, that is going to increase the distance between the front of our car and the car in front of us. If you want your car to get a little bit closer before it starts slowing down, you can decrease it down to one line or anything less than four. I personally drive with four lines in front when I'm using the adaptive cruise control. That's what I'm most comfortable with. And that's also what I suggest for people, especially if you've never used adaptive cruise control because it does take some getting used to when you're allowing the car to automatically brake for you. If you don't like the adaptive cruise control and you would prefer to use regular cruise control, you just click up on this button right here and you'll hear it beep and the icon will change. You can see it's changed to white. That is regular cruise control. So there will not be automatic braking if you've got it set to regular cruise control. So just so you guys are aware, you can set your cruise control as low as 20 miles an hour, or at least that's how it is for this 2020 Outback. And I imagine it's very similar for other Subaru models as well. So to activate our cruise control, we just click the on button right here. And then once we reach our desired speed, we click down to set it. So that will set your cruise control. We've got it set at 66 miles an hour and we're going 63 because the truck in front of us is going slightly slower. So that is how your adaptive cruise control will work. Another cool feature is the speed limit recognition. So if you look for the street signs or the speed limit signs, you'll see it says 55. And then also on the dash, it'll tell you that the speed limit is 55. So your EyeSight cameras are consistently looking for that speed limit sign and telling you what it is. EyeSight also controls a feature called lane departure warning and lane keep assist. I'll show you what lane departure warning looks like now. If we just gradually get too close to the edge of the road, 
it will tell you that you're too close to the edge of the road. If you ever find that lane departure warning, the audible alert annoying, or the lane departure function annoying, I'll show you how to deactivate both of those. First, we'll start with the Outback and the Legacy infotainment, and then I'll show you on all the other Subaru models with the smaller screen infotainment. So with the Outback and the Legacy, on your touchscreen to the bottom left, you click on the car icon. And then from there, click on driving assistance. From driving assistance, click on lane departure prevention function. So right now it's set to all. The lane departure prevention function will actually actively try to keep you within your lane. And then the second option is the audible alert. Now, if you wanna turn both of these off, you don't want either, you just click it to off. If you want the lane departure prevention function, but you don't want the buzzer, you click that. Or maybe you just want the buzzer, but you don't want the actual active uh, steering keeping you in your lane, you just click on buzzer only. I personally do not like the buzzer at all. I find it very annoying. And so I just do the lane departure prevention function only. For all other Subarus, your lane departure function can be turned off right here by clicking and holding for just a few seconds. You'll hear it beep and it'll tell you up on the dash that it is turned off. There is an active feature that will actually keep you within your lane and that's called the lane keep assist or lane centering. So you can actually activate that with this button right here. If you click that, it'll say ready. And now the eyesight is going to start looking for lane markings on either side of the road. Once it finds them, it will light up to tell you that those are those have been indicated and it will actually use the power steering. So see now it says ready. You see the white lines on each side. Now it's telling you that it's found those lines and it's going to keep you in the center of your lane moving forward. Now it's important to note that this is not autonomous driving. It doesn't replace you as the driver. It's just there to help assist you and to help avoid accidentally crossing the lane into another uh, lane where somebody's occupied or crossing a lane and getting into a head-on collision. The same button that is used to turn the lane centering on, this button right here, can also be used to turn it off just by a single click. Subarus with EyeSight also have automatic braking. The automatic braking will work if somebody is in front of you, like another car or an object, and you don't actively try to apply the brakes. Now this won't always avoid a collision, but it will at least help reduce the damages that are done. For the Outback and the Legacy touchscreen to turn the pre-collision braking off, you just click on the car icon to the bottom left. You click on driving assistance. And then the very first option is the pre-collision braking. You can turn it off right here. To turn off the pre-collision braking and all of your other Subarus, you go up here near the dome light, just like on the lane departure, you click this button and hold it for a few seconds. You'll hear it beep and it'll tell you on the dash that it's turned off. The next feature that EyeSight controls is called lead vehicle start. While at a red light, if the car in front of you takes off and you don't take off within the first few seconds, you'll hear an audible alert and you'll see a visual alert up on the dash that looks like this telling you it's time to go. Hopefully this gentle reminder will alert you before the person behind you honks their horn. The next two features I want to tell you guys about doesn't actually have anything to do with the EyeSight cameras, but they are safety features that are cool to know about, and they're not standard on Subarus, but you can get them as optional packages on pretty much any model. These safety features are called blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert. The blind spot detection will actually light up orange like that whenever you've got somebody behind you that you can't see out of the rear window or it's blocked by one of these pillars. This is helpful because it helps you avoid a collision by accidentally merging into a lane that somebody's already in. The rear cross traffic alert works by automatically applying the brakes for you whenever you're backing up towards an object and you don't apply the brakes yourself. So whenever you are backing up, obviously you have your rear view camera, but sometimes there's a car that flies down the aisleway or a grocery cart or a kid on a bike and you don't see them quite in time. You'll hear an audible alert first and then if you don't apply the brakes, it's going to apply the brakes for you and stop the vehicle. Turning on and off your blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert is very easy. For the large display in the Outback and the Legacy, you click on the car icon to the bottom left. And then from there, click on driving assistance. And then the option at the bottom is the blind spot detection rear cross traffic alert where you can toggle it on and off right here. In order to turn off your blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert on all other Subarus that are equipped with it, you just click this button right here on the left side of the dash 
and that will turn it off. It'll also tell you up on the display that it's been turned off. It's important to know that none of these features are meant to replace you. Ultimately, you are in 100% control of the vehicle at all times, but it's nice to know that Subaru has the EyeSight technology to make up for those instances where there's human error. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found value in it. If you did, please be sure to smash the like button. Also, if you guys haven't done so already and you like content like this, please be sure to click that subscribe button before you go. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.